Cduino shell due to its very small size is becoming very popular. Using the smallest Arduino, Cduino shell amazing variable projects can be designed. This video is sponsored by AllPCB. Feel free to visit their website allpcb.com to not only find out what awesome PCB and assembly services they offer but also to easily upload your Gerber files and this order affordable and high quality PCBs quickly. Besides this, you will also get a $30 coupon balance which you can use to get your first prototype order for free. You can start by clicking on the first link in the description. In this episode, you will learn how to make a light meter using C Reno Xiao and 128 by 64 i 2 c supported OLED display module. The main purpose of this tutorial is to explain how to use Cduino shell within I2C supported devices. Just like the Arduino board, Cduino shell also has the I2C pins. Once you learn the very basics then you can design your own cool projects. You can make a patient monitoring system, a digital clock, range finder and thousands of other projects. In my previous tutorial, I have already covered the extreme basics including the Cduino shell pinout and technical specification. Cduino shell board installation using the Arduino IDE. And I also explained how to write your very first program to control an LED. So I highly recommend watch my previous getting started tutorial on the Cduino shell because in this tutorial, I will not explain the things which I have already covered in my previous tutorial. In this episode, we will cover number one, LDR and OLED display module interfacing with Cduino. Number two, light meter program explanation. And finally, number three, testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. A light dependent resistor LDR and a 10 kilo ohm resistor are connected in series. This makes the voltage divider circuit. A wire from the middle is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Cduino. The I2C supported 128 by 64 or LED display module SCL and SDA pins are connected with the Cduino analog pins A5 and A4. A5 is the SCL and A4 is the SDA. The OLED display module VCC and ground pins are connected with the Cduino 3.3 volt and ground pins. I completed the connections as per the circuit diagram. Now let's take a look at the program. As usual before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. You will need the wire.h library for the I2C supported devices, the Adafruit GFX and Adafruit SSD1306 libraries are used with the OLED display module. The OLED display module I'm using has the screen width 128 and screen height 64. An LDR is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Cduino shell. 
the LDR values are stored in the variable LDR underscore data which is of the type integer while the F underscore value variable is used to store the final mapped values. 0x3c is the I2C address of the OLED display module. You can find this address by using the I2C scanner code which you can find in the article. The value returned by the read sensor function is stored in the variable f underscore value and is then printed on the OLED display module. If you have never used the OLED display module then you can watch my video on the OLED display module in which I covered all of these functions and also fixed the most common issues that you might face while using the OLED display module. Anyhow, the read sensor function is a user defined function and its return type is integer. The purpose of this function is to read the analog pin A0 to which an LDR is connected. The LDR value is then mapped to limit the values between 0 and 100. Finally, we return this value. You can find links to the related tutorials and articles in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch the Seedvino shell and I2C supported OLED display module based light meter in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked this episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.